Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to try some fancy maneuvering here, like drifting lazily to the left against that Void Archon. Hmm. That enemy yeah, is soul don't... protection. Hmm. And I have a lot of things that give souls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a ton of things that. That takes souls, at least. I mean, obviously the Archon, so no, and he'll Gatsby. probably be good. And well, yeah, but Gatsby's. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, if I charge my, you know, if I charge my servitors into your living single wound models, which actually sounds like a bad, not a bad idea. Now that I'm saying it aloud. Um, Kind of what I wanted to go first is to get the table a little bit more. Yeah. And, you if know, you get pushed yeah, back and, yeah. off your stuff, it doesn't matter if you can score first because you won't. Yeah, exactly. All right. How have the small belcher has been performing for you? I found uh, well, uh, I played I've... Denny once. Oh, okay. Uh, and then they missed every shot, so uh, not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like for me, it's like I like the idea of their cloud wall, and well, see, that you was know, the idea with there. this list because when I was talking to Brad, he's like, "Yeah, like everything has a gun. Like you can form a cloud wall. The stuff that's not cloud wall is stealth." Speaking of cloud walls, uh, I'm going to choose Eyeless Sight as my objective. Surprising. Um, I also will pick Eyeless Sight. Because your cloud wall will hurt me yeah. also. Cloud walls, stealth. There's a lot of a lot of stealth on both sides. Let's sight. And none of my guns are sprays. Well, I guess technically Kerbis has one, but I've never seen it used. Um, I used it. I actually used it in the last round just because I needed him to uh, sit in the zone. And uh... usually, I just noodle people with him. No, that. That's that's usually that is usually the uh, superior move, especially when he has gang fighter. But uh, yeah, I've especially used the spray like turn. it's good. Yeah, use the spray once or twice. Kill the Toro in like two attacks. And I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. I've overcommitted focus on this. <laughs> yeah, especially with the uh, shroud warriors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I went to go calculate his armor. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, wait, no, I ignore the shield. Dice plus a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah, chain weapon is a super relevant rule right now. People like Tauros, and Curb dislikes Tauros even more than people that mm -hmm. like Tauros. You know what else people like? Indictors and the Avatar. Yes. I, well, you say that, but I just played against your teammate, and he had Adjudicator. Oh, that's true. But the, uh, the horse... Uh, of horse dudes also have shields, so again, also, relevant. He got some delicious scatters mm. with that gear. Yeah, it scattered like what was it? To the two is to the right of the one. It was like yeah. four inches to the two, landed right on my other one stalker, and then the deviation from that also landed on the stalker, like almost killed it oh. with just the blast damage, just like. All right. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> adjudicators just do that. Uh, anyway, uh, it is your uh, deploy. It was basically Tokyo Drift because he fired at a molly. You could see it, it drifted behind the forest. <laughs> you could hear the theme song already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, boo, boo, boo. Where did you deploy stuff? You got uh, Kerbis there, you got Gatsby there. Oh, how the hell do we kill this Void Archon? Because I can't take control of it with Dark Seduction. No, you cannot. This is just the biggest sad. Do you have Orin? Oh, no. Neither of us have Orin. Yeah, I because I had to use my Merc Slot on the Void Archon. We're going to be Dark seduction each other like crazy. Yeah, right. I've never had to worry about this before. This feels terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> thank you guys. Oh no, why why did you move that? I 
And the overlords are stealth, correct? Sure are. Well, that's great, because I've got stealth answers. Axiara. So go over here, me smog belchers. Go like that. Oh, Gatsby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what to do with you? Um, I guess here is a fine position. That's not enough room for a server to fit. I miss real tables where I can just like push the miles together in a second. Yeah. But, man, War yeah, Table that... has been such a great thing to have happen when it did. Yeah, it's like I was, I, I was like sort of cringing at the idea of having to learn Vassal, and this came out, and it just I played so a game much on more Vassal intuitive. And ew. there were definitely areas of improvement. Mm. Um, these guys are Command 6. So you ladies will just hang out back here and be like, hey, Isle of Sight. Actually, I've got the objective. <laughs> I think I'm they're better served over here so they can bully the overlords. So let's get you girls up here. Or guys, I don't actually know what they are. It's hard to tell from girls. the picture. <laughs> the picture is a little strange. Um, yeah, that's true. You'll go right there, Severa, because you will just prey on those overlords like there's no tomorrow. And Garlac, I think goes over here for vet leader. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my regular deploy. Okay. Well, then my AD. I'll drop the stalker over here. Misery cage. We'll just hide behind my objective. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm thinking... Your AD. My, my misery cage is going to actually... We'll, we'll place the worm man first. Mm -hmm. Worm man's gonna sit in this forest. Do you love me some canker worm? I, I discovered when I put him in my list, I went to go play him. I'm like, he's half inch melee and he's not speed seven. <laughs> so this guy yeah, can deploy 30 inches up the table. It's 20 past your normal deployment. Oh, it's 12 past your normal. 12 past. I was like, that was like, I feel like I'm getting that wrong. Uh, 22, <laughs> which is still more than enough to get up here. Yeah. It's the same rule as the Helm Elf has. So if you would like to come get this thing, it's right here. <laughs> okay. It'll be permanently contesting. Um, this one, however, is going to be more judicious with its placement. All right. Makes sense to me. <clears throat> and hang out a little bit. And that is my deployment. All right. Well, good luck to you. And best of luck to you as well. All right, I'll get started. Either way, we'll have good news to report to the Kirk's channel. <laughs> Indeed. Um, all right, so power it's up. Neighbor one. And... What, who did yeah. she win against? Herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so everybody powers up. I allocate nothing. Uh, I'll start with the Satixis Raiders. They will pray for Force Barrier and run. All right. Stupid force barrier. <laughs> hmm. Forgot they have force barrier. Should have deployed a Duder McBerserk face over there. Oh, Kerlac, yeah. Oh, wait, he only gives. Yeah, it's only Vet Leader played Troll in their ogre or black. Yeah, ogre. not the ogres. Never mind. I would say I've read these models' cards before, but uh, that's a lie. <laughs> I don't want to lie on camera. Kids watching at home only lie when there's no record. <laughs> uh, all right, and. 
You are staying relatively safe. There. Great. All right. Um, Negra is going to run, just post up behind this, uh, up behind the wall here. For getting a first turn run. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, See, my lists are quite the dynamic pair. One of them, I can say I have no guns, and the other one, I can say everything has a gun. <laughs> yeah, with this with this list, I have very few guns, but quite a but quite a few ranged attacks. <sighs> Refreshing. Oh. Node runs there. Um. Darkon runs over there. Merlack will run. Dr. Stygius runs. Also, what a dope model. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, he's like, just... Flat out heal five. Yeah. It's just, and he just has so much uh, the size comparison to the regular overlords. It's just, he's so much taller. I've never actually seen the real model, mostly because since he's come out, I haven't seen a real person in life game. Hmm. Yeah. Say, well. Yeah. It's been. Uh, it's been a while for me too. I must admit. Stalker will run. I like that with Gatsby's vet leader, that um, not vet leader, leadership. That's you. Uh, you can charge as far as the stalker as you can walk and jump. Yeah, yeah that's pretty silly. A lot of things about uh, Gatsby are silly. Uh, and over there, no, too far. Severa will run. Oh no, you've got Severa too. I didn't see it. We ha we have the exact uh, we we have the exact same um, requisition point uh, composition. Oh dear. And our battle group's the exact same. <laughs> Yeah, except for our caster attachment. Yeah. Uh, that will conclude my turn. Oh, boy. Well, let's power up. <laughs> One suggestion I think I'm going to make to the War room dude is uh let's have a mass power up button. Yeah. I can worm get out of sight if he wants. <laughs> he will. All right. Because I can because he can. <laughs> I don't even think the model has eyes. Um I think we would like to cripple and grasp your your ladies there. Mm, I wouldn't like that. Where can we go and be the safest? Can we? Well, I mean, they charge range? twelve, so after cripple they charge ten, and crippling grasp is range eight. So, oh no, I mean safe from the other things. Oh, okay. So you go right th th there. So I want the void archon porting away. I'm fine if he comes in and commits. Hmm. So I think we run to there. Is that within 14 of Denny? It is. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I think that's worth it. Um, so you'll just run to there. Okay. Can't wait to just debuff the shit out of each other's units. Well, I mean, that's one advantage you have with the uh, Blood Priest is you've got a Dispel Stick, where my the upkeeps you put on me, I don't have an answer for. Yeah, but she can only be on one side of the table. Yeah. Um, speaking of Denny, gonna 
creep on up here. Eh, we've got to go to the canker worm first. Uh, let's make a three inch aura on him so we don't walk into line of sight if you don't have to. Um, nothing to really get me anyway from over here. As long as I stay out of this little bubble here, the Void Archon can't get in to spray me. And everything else should be out of range. Yep. Currently it is. So he'll he'll noodle his way up. Okay. Um, then he will just walk up here. Mm -hmm. Um, if you port and then get to Denny, well, I'm just sad, but <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hope that doesn't happen. Uh, she's going to boost a crippling grasp for four. Seven. Through the node onto lady number nine. Mm -hmm. Don't screw me. She didn't. Got it. Um, would you like a token or would you like the actual spell effect on one of the models? Uh, I'll do it. Okay. Um, and I think she'll you sit put it on, on the, the rest witch. of her focus. <laughs> no, she'll sit on the rest of her focus. Um, mm -hmm. Just because it seems like a good thing to do. Uh, Blood Priestess will just walk over here, hang out. Yep, within three of her, I trust. Yep. Uh, Axiara is going to go. She's going to probably walk up here. Yeah, that's fine. Just going to turn so you can see the Marauders. Uh, give them repo. Okay. Just so when we fire, we can get uh, a nice cloud wall. Yeah. I guess say it's a lot easier to put down the precise clouds walls with this than uh Yes it is. And speaking yeah. of precise cloud walls, uh, I'm gonna finagle them around and then create a cloud wall with them next. Okay. Um so they're gonna go speed six. That's too far. What is your range? Your range twelve? Ugh. Why are you slow? <laughs> so you won't be able to fire. What about you, sir man? You'll have a target. You you what? You had it right there. There you go. Um, creating a cloud wall would be much easier. Nope. Do not add model. Add widget, please. So if we go here, it's moving sideways. So right there is where we'd like him to go. They have arcing fire, so I can just kind of ignore everything. Uh, other models, yeah, but not like the Burning Earth, or ironically, yeah, well, I was, the clouds. Yeah, I was going to be ignoring my arc node. I was going to be firing straight ahead. Yes, yes. Um, do we care if there's a cloud right in that center? No. So I think, actually, can you even get in range of anyone? You amateur, you can't. <laughs> so he'll just go there. Okay. Um, just put the cloud walls there for for later turns. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna fire with the ones that are in range, um, which will be leader two and three. Mm -hmm. Leader Miles is gonna take a pot shot at number four in the front. All right. You need an eight. One grasp and force barrier cancel. Uh, misses. Um. I don't actually think it can hurt anything over there, but we'll try. Deviate three inch AOE, uh, max distance, they were 12, so about six inches. Mm -hmm. uh, clips the uh, you can hurt the Void Archon on an 11. Well, that's the opposite. Um, so we're going to go with uh, the other dude next to him. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll fire at number nine. All right. Nope. Uh, DBH. It's random anyway. Six. <laughs> there, doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I believe it's only on direct hit that you can't charge. That's right. Direct hit. Man, I was really hoping to land like one of these shots on that person. Yeah. Uh, and then number three is out of range, and we'll fire at uh, number. Was that number six? Yeah, six. Six. Okay. Man, uh, a snake eyes, and then two fives, huh? Yeah. Well, at least you hit the cripple. That was. Um, it can't, even... can't deviate to hurt anything over there. Um, yep, that's right. 
so they'll just back out. Man, I was really hoping to hit one of those shots on the middle guy. Preventing that charge would have been quite nice. Mm. Uh, and sure, you'll stand in your cloud. Unfortunate. Um... Don't know where I want to curb this. Uh, I think Gaspi will just go. He's gonna run to. Oh God! <laughs> These stupid hard <laughs> dudes. So I need to stay eight plus fourteen away from the arc node. So twenty-two. One on dark seduction. Yes, twenty-two from the arc nodes would be safe. Solid. We'll. Go exactly right there. <laughs> <laughs> Until a later turn where we will do something else. Um, <laughs> these marauders are just going to maraud on over this okay. way. Uh, it's 14 for the overlord sprays. Yes, walk walk 6, shoot it. Uh, so 14.1. Please. Okay, that's 14.2. There we go. I knew you could do it. No, that's there. You go. Confirm these. So the pop up goes away. Oh my god! I just want. I just wanted at fourteen point one. There we go. Why must you make this so difficult for me? More, more table. And they are thirteen, unless I give you vengeance. Uh correct. Speed five, range eight. Mm-hmm. So if you'd give me vengeance, that would just be lovely. Just like walk sure. Gatsby up and throw a hellfire if you could. I'm sure you'd like that. I very much would. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> Garlock's gonna go. He's gonna run his little speed ten. Mm -hmm. Or range ten, whatever. Oh, war table's counting backwards again. Yeah. There you go. Uh, this arc node is going to hang out over here. All right. And prepare. Mm -hmm. He's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> Severus is just going to stand back here. Okay. Is she, though? Stand like over here. <laughs> uh, and Carib just can't actually move because I blocked him in. Because I'm a dum dum. See, doodle. High quality stream content here, folks. <laughs> um, <laughs> he'll just go hang out here. All right. Oh, man. Um, so. Uh, my objective is going to give Severa Eyeless Sight. As you do. Man, just, I wanted one of those eights. <sighs> um, allocation. Um, I think... SP is going to... I'm going to give two to the Stalker, because the Stalker can get to Canker Worm. Correct. Um, don't know if I can actually get any Gang Fighter into him, so I'm not sure how that'll I'm work out. That. But... Um, yeah. I technically can, and uh, that's the best kind of can. All right. Um, oh, no, the best kind. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, I will give... Give one focus to Charybdis. 
I don't like where this is going. All right. Um, actually, no. Wait, that, that that won't work. Okay. No focus to Charybdis. Then he just has her seven. Aha. As uh, you were uh, a half inch out from your arc node, uh, actually, for me, actually getting to use uh, Denegra's gun. Um, all Denegra's right. gun? So, or the Charybdis's gun, excuse me. Oh, I was like, what? Um, <laughs> Have yeah. I been playing her wrong this wrong. whole time? She has a gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, she does not. She pulls sadly. a pistol out, pistol out of her pocket. Surprise. Yeah. Um... Let's go with the this arc node is going to run. I kept it. We'll get set on fire, but that's okay because I truly don't expect him to live. Oh dang, the sacral blade is power 13 for the dispel. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jeez. like, I'll save you. It's the uh <laughs> pull them out right. Jeez. Yeah. Uh but it is handy if you need to kill a, kill a dude to uh get a spell. Anyway, um Negra will go. She'll kick the misery cage for a focus. Um she's gonna out. Gonna boost a crippling grasp into your your arc node. I need it's a, a seven. My arc node. Yep. It's he's been crippled successfully. Excellent. Uh next uh she's oh, going to I tried to do it. Oh okay. uh next she's going to boost a venom into your Axiara Wraith Blade and boosting to hit. I might get the smog belcher as well. I don't really care though if I do or don't. Uh, mm. Can she see him? Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's actually a good question. I might have uh, might have misplayed that one there. Huh. Uh, I think you can. Like right there. Okay. Well, if you think. If you think I have line of sight, hold then... Up, up. We uh, have the zoom capabilities. Yes. yes. We're good. All right. Well, then I'm going to boost uh, into Axiara. <laughs> I, need, I need an eight to hit her. Don't do it. Damn it. Hit. <laughs> I'll boost the damage. Yep. So dice off four. Check for you. Just do it. Hey. He does it, but... <clears throat> He is knocked down one box and corroded, so the corrosion might get relevant. Right. And knocked down. All right, so I guess then she will back off a bit. Here's where I roll out the corrosion, and I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, the, the corrosion is going to be. Um, is going to be probably uh, pretty relevant, I'd say. All right. So if she lives, uh, that's just fantastic. Yeah. Uh, my Axiara will go over there and give repo three to my Satixis unit. As you do. See, my plan was to at least hit one of those three eights, and then the whole front group there can't charge. Mm, yeah. And then they can't actually walk to them either. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been nice. That was the plan, but it didn't work. Um, so the Void Archon is just going to run over here. Um, Dr. Stygius is going to go over here and spell slave a ghost walk onto the Sotixis. Yep, yep. Um, Gerlach is just going to run to the flag. Axis will call for Force Barrier again and press forward. Now, they now charge only eight, but I can go through the holding here. Sure can. 
So we'll get there. Yep. Also, okay. shout out to Brett. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she'll get caught on fire. That's okay. If anyone else would like a call out on stream, uh, I take cash bribes. I'll do it for free. You can't survive in this market. Dang it. I've been driven out already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like only four Seth, four uh, Psetixis will get in there with my new unimpressive speed. Um, uh -huh. And meanwhile, I've got a couple charging into the uh, misery cage. You leave him alone. Um, actually, I think I don't think uh, that one has line of sight, so I think it'll just just be the one. I'll have to do. Uh, I guess I'll just run. I mean, it'll also get gang. Yeah, yeah. I'll run, you know, I'll run for gang, and that's it. Uh, running, running, and run to keep formation. Man, remember the good old days where crippling grass meant you couldn't charge? Yeah, right. I remember the good old days when Cetixus were AD as well. All right, let's go with the one on the cool. uh, Misery Cage. Uh, auto hits with the whip. It's only power nine after gang, so dice off seven. Yep. Uh, three points. Uh, yeah. Then her horns, auto hit, just dice off eight. One point. Okay. Uh -huh. It's uh, I'll, st I'll start with... Um, so Texas Raider number seven, uh, whip into the arc node. She needs a five. I uh, know a four because my mat is eight right now. Uh, crit knockdown. So uh, I didn't that. think he was going to live anyway, but. <laughs> um, so power nine versus your armor of 12. Dice off well. three. Uh, four to the six, and Denny takes a feedback point. Yep. Um, oh. Yep. Um, so takes us number five, auto hits, dice off three, seven to the six, feedback for Denny. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another feedback. So takes us number nine. Actually, I can off. negate feedback, right? Yes. Uh, Wait, who was I taking health off of? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Who is taking uh, damage? Anyway, um, well, she'll spend two focus just because she's got focus. But I thought I okay. clicked down her health, and apparently I did it to someone else. Mm. Oh, well, we'll find who it was later. Yep. Anyway, that la that third Sedixus with her whip, uh, three to the six and one to Denny. One, two, three, and we'll just uh, take eight, one. Fourth Sedixus with the whip, dice off three, yeah. uh, eleven, one to Denny. And that's that. Uh, and then the the, man, I yep. was really optimistic about that because I was like, man, his heart is still in. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, then the ones that uh, successfully charged reposition. All right, so that's that. Um, Severa will go next. She's going to walk up with her eyeless sight. Yes. And she will shoot your misery cage with a gun's important shot. Leave him alone. Uh, not snakes hits. Uh, dice off six. Uh, drop Oof. the lowest is five. OK, I guess you just die. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dead. Yep. Uh, second shot, we'll go into your, the canker worm. Uh, I need a six. Importance hits. Um, dice off six again. Yep. Uh, drop the lowest is two to the two. Doink, doink. And then I run and gun for killing the cage. This is the first I've ever seen her run and gun. 
everyone else normally like shield guards to something else, and then the shield guard puffs or something. <laughs> um, Feels good. Indeed. All right. Uh, the green Cephalix unit uh, is going to run. And just so I can get some gang fighter on your uh, canker worm. Oh, dear. Stalker will walk and jump. So walk seven and jump five. So I'm just going to go the 12. Yep. Come on, canker worm. All right. So one to the jump. So I need a five to hit you with gang fighter. So first initial. Yes. Yes. All right. Second initial. That's a hit. Um, straight dice because of gang fighter and dark shroud. Yep. Uh, five to the three. I swing. Need five hits. Good thing I got the gang fighter in there. Uh, straight dice, nine to the two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn it, there is his cortex. And last swing. Uh, misses. Uh -huh. uh, and then, because it's relevant, I will apply grievous wounds, so you can't heal if you eat me. I've never had that happen. Well, it's a thing Honestly, that can happen. I yeah, you. I forgot that he could. <laughs> um, all right, so Cephalix are just going to stay thir uh, stay thirteen away from you. Get back so here. Staying at, <laughs> staying at thirteen one. Just advance. Yeah, he's pretty happy behind the forest, honestly. Um, Death Ripper runs. And uh, that's it. Turn to you. Uh, so, you still there? Yes. Sorry. All right. So, first thing, corrosion on Axiara. Sounds good. Yeah. No. Oh, she... Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right. Whew. Well, we can't allocate to the canker worm. Uh, we'll upkeep crippling grass for free. Mm -hmm. uh, these clouds go away, only to come back later. Crib just gets one, uh, Arcanoid gets one, and I think we're off. Yes. So, first thing first, would I like to feed? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's just not. I think good feet targets. Oh no. If I target exactly right there. Oh no, it's perfect. I can't actually get to. I was hoping I could uh, spray two overlords <laughs> out that arc node. Hmm. Which, uh, where would you have to be? Yeah, you couldn't actually even get in a nice position. Without moving uh, the first or using uh, 
or just trying to merc one of your own dudes with the uh, blood priestess. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, you couldn't. You you would have to move the uh, marauders first anyway, or cast ghost walk out of the blood priestess. But that. Oh no, no, no! I was work. seeing if I could run the arc node after they went and then spray. Oh, okay. I can't yeah. get a spray that would get two overlords. Hmm. Which is just unfortunate. I could do two and then just rely on rolling hard sevens. I mean, I, there, I've heard worse plans. Yeah. Yeah, but that's throwing away my arc node. And I really want to save that arc node to crippling grasp Gatsby later. After yeah, or dark seduction him. <laughs> or dark seduction. Although I don't think you're going to give me probably too many chances of that. Um... Yeah, I, th I think we just start our turn. Um, first things first, I think the... Uh, uh, do you get the in-melee bonus um, against shooting if you're in melee with an immobile model? Um, yeah. uh, I don't actually, actually I, know. I don't... Um, yeah, I think I... I don't think I do. Uh, actually, I, no, I think I do, because you, do, you would get it against the uh, shifting we stones. Have a Judge. Doink. Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't usually come up. I mean, I could have just killed that misery cage and saved us a judge call, but didn't. <laughs> I know. How inconsiderate. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I guess we just sit here and burn the clock until the judge arrives? I think we can pause if they were, we're looking for a ruling. All right. I don't actually just know off the top of my head. Oh no, you're the judge? I am a judge. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you are in melee with an immobile model, do you get the in melee bonus against uh, shooting? As in immobile how, sorry. As misery in the role misery of Tixus in yeah. melee with a misery cage. Uh, no, because you cannot be engaged by or engaging a sentry stone, so the same rule applies. Okay, thank you for the ruling. That's what I like to hear. No worries. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> um, so I think they're actually going to stand still to aim. Ooh. It's exciting, I know. Um, yeah. So, what we're going to do is have number five, uh... Mm -hmm. Man, he's not in range of them. I need the I need the rat bonus. Stupid rat. <laughs> so always needs eight. So use whipping winds again, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. So aim, the aiming ones need sixes now. Yeah, I think we have to aim. That sucks. Um, so number three is going to shoot. At, actually, let's start with number five on the uh, the arc node. Okay. Uh, you need uh, a six. Aiming hits. Pow thirteen. One. Takes uh, one to the six. Uh, five to the six. It's off one. Five to the six. <laughs> um, number four will do much the same. Okay. It's uh, takes six to your three. Oh, that arc node is still in. Mm -hmm. Um, the leader will shoot number nine. Okay. Hits. There's that eight. Kills that number I nine. Uh, one moment. Yeah, Kills so number, number nine charge, and no charge on number five. Yep. Uh, number two will shoot number five. So hopefully we hit and she dies anyway. Uh, we do. She dies. Yep. So that, that ring doesn't matter. Um, and then I think we're gonna shoot number eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll shoot number eight with number three. Okay. Uh, I believe That's that a hits. Hit. Uh, and just yep. kills her. I don't think the ring will actually get. Yeah, um, it wouldn't. Just the three. All right. Um, if it matters, they'll have the clouds on themselves for firing. Okay. Um, curve just a spray should be able to kill that arc node. Or do we have it go after uh one of the Tixus? <laughs> do we rely on fire to kill that? I think that's a terrible <laughs> plan. <laughs> Okay, two two out of three times it'll work. Oh, I think we just go with uh with plan kill stalker. Uh so Gaspian Co. 
are going to go. Uh, they're going right. to press forward order. Um, so what we're going to do is do this, copy this, make them gray. Or not gray, they are gray. Green, the other G color. Uh, let's see where we can put this, because they changed the ruling for whatever reason. It was fine as it was, and then they were like, hey, what if we took that back? Um, so put a cloud there and a cloud there. Supposed to be touching each other. Can't really see it okay. through the flag. I believe that's touching. Yeah, yeah, they're touching. We can we can say they're touching. It's it is hard to tell with the flag. <laughs> um, and what we'll do is we will charge. Uh, this Gaspian range to get Eyeless. He is that is regrettable. Um, so yeah, we'll just charge the little Gaspy bots. Um, okay. This one will charge over here. Okay. Your overlord. Mm -hmm. uh, this one will just run to engage. Give you a dark shroud and gang fighter. Uh, this one will just hang out. Uh, and then this guy, your arc node is creeping up. I don't like it. <laughs> so where can I stand that's not within six to buy? Go there, and I go six. It'll be seven point eight, which would get me in one of those clouds. So like we go here. Okay, no, that's that's even further up. <laughs> you <laughs> fool. So I'm just gonna confirm his position and then wobble him around a little bit to try and get uh yeah. safe. If I go there, six inches does not get me into the cloud straight. It's not gonna be a cloud there. That's fine. <laughs> Um, yep. So that's where he'll go. Uh, okay. Drop your focus. Oh, and uh, before he drops the clouds, he'll charge the arc node and then drop the clouds so they can't see anymore so you can advance. Uh, okay. Um, number two will attack your overlord. Hits, point of damage. Uh, and three on your stalker. He died. Um, and then I think Kankerworm is gonna go. He's just gonna creep to within half inch of both if he can. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll just. I don't know what we're hoping to achieve here, but. Um, at Matt nine, I think we're better off doing two separate attacks. Uh, so we'll attack with the tail first. At the stalker. Yes. You need a six. Uh. <laughs> Bite hits uh, power uh, eleven. So straight, yep, straight uh, dice plus four trap. is fifteen. I, oh yeah, so dice plus two because a gang fighter. Okay, Ooh, thirteen. Take thirteen to your four. Uh, that's cortex and one of the arms. So now I'm as bad off as you are. <laughs> uh, it should have been thirteen damage, right? Yeah, and that's okay. what I did. Oh, sorry, I, I only saw when the right was out. I bet. Um, I give one more damage to cripple the arm. Ugh. Okay, who runs to contest that flag? Because I didn't kill the stalker and I didn't kill the overlord, so we're just in an awful spot right here. I think losing the roll to go first is a pretty bad occurrence. Um. Rip this. I can't actually get in range to spray. I think he just runs. He needs to reposition somewhere better. All right. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Yeah. We're not in a good spot. Missed a lot of the early. Tax, which I really, really should have, but no, at least they were all to go first. It's unfortunate. Um, so these marauders are basically just cannon fodder, so they're just gonna run, have at the all right, give me some. Well, I can't really avoid it, is the problem.
So I figure if I just like make enough tough checks, then you know, just roll better, right? Yeah, I mean that that is why I was uh, re why I'm working on redeploying the Void Archon so that hopefully that'll be less of a thing. But it's not quite there yet. Uh, Jessica, your command nine, right? Mm -hmm. You can get sprayed, but whatever. Just uh, just get good. Um, Carolac's gonna go. He's gonna hang out. Uh, probably over here. Alrighty. And. I don't know where we want him. Let's go over here. Seems like a good spot. Oh, Severa, you're not in range of anyone because you're the world's most useless person right at the moment. Um, so I think you just crawl up to 14. These overlords, if they want to come up to get good sprays, you murder them all. Mm-hmm. Uh, these ladies will just run. I think my arc node just creeps a little bit. Um, we don't want you spraying him. So just creep around a like, quarter inch to the right. Okay. Uh, then I think we have the blood priestess run to the flags that we. Eh, it doesn't matter because I didn't kill this stupid stalker. <laughs> <laughs> this. Stupid model, how are you not dead? <laughs> um, I can't go out like that because I'll just die. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dice, why? <laughs> Blood priests hang out here. Oh, how do we get rid of this guy? So if we go like here and we spray over canker worm, God, that's just such a not good play. I don't <laughs> get both models I need. <laughs> I have to get rid of these guys. Okay, well. The dice are not being favorable so far. I'm getting some hot rolls on places I don't particularly need them. <laughs> um. Yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's just fine there, whatever. All right, so spraying She'll those there. Uh, she's going to pull off the misery key. Oh, she can't pull off the misery key. She didn't move far enough. So be it. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to move anymore over because that would give line of sight. Um. Did we take out the movement of the stalker? No, we didn't. That's not good. Yeah, so we'll just venom for two. All right. Uh, on the overlord. <laughs> ah, on canker worm, let me guess. Yep, that, there it is. And then on the stalker. The stalker. Boost it. Wow. Wow. Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, Why? The first yeah. has Dark Shroud, so uh, dice off four on the Canker Worm. Takes three. And gets corroded. And it gets corroded to the three. <laughs> it's all falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that went horribly. Okay. And you score one. Yep. Thank uh, you. Let's turn three. Yes. So first things first, my fire checks. Fire on my arc node. Uh, it takes uh, not go out. So dice <laughs> off 
two. Two is it's two. two. The it's two. the one. They're the one. It didn't even take anything out. However, he did. He is outside of Denegra's control area, so he won't get any focus. No, and then, but he uh, doesn't really need it. <laughs> oh. Uh, fire check on my Satexus Raider goes out. <laughs> even my fire uh, damage rolls are bad. Uh, um, let's see. Um, Eyeless Sight will go on Severa again. It seemed pretty good the last time. So... Ew. So Denegra has her seven. Charybdis and her remaining node power up. Asphyxius has five. Stalker's Cortex is out. Uh, don't want to move you yet. Um, Denegra doesn't hand out anything, so that's that. Um, we'll start with... Just going to walk. Um, I will go with this node. It's going to run. We'll go with hmm. she moves up just enough to get her nodes in. Um, she's going to cast a rippling grasp uh, through node number one into Marauder number three and boost it. I need a seven. Uh, yep, because of uh, Ash Bell. Got it. They are crippled. I'll add it to mm -hmm. Jessica. Okay, thanks. Uh, and then she's going to throw a venom through node number two at your objective, <laughs> which will also get the uh, blood priestess. Yep. So I need uh, not snakes on your objective. Hits, and then a seven to hit your priestess. Hits. Of course. A boost to to damage on your blood priestess. Yep. So uh, their armor 12 and priestess. Dead. And then it's off 8 on your objective. No damage, but it's good. Oh, All right. Um, I can't believe after two smog belcher shots and fire that freaking arc is still alive. <laughs> yeah, it is... Uh, Highly um, unfortunate. Go with... So Tenegra's done. So where can I... If I run you, you're not really doing anything. And I can't really shoot anything. So no, but I, think I guess the Void Archons... Is... Over there for later is probably a solid play. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, well, I'll go with the Satixis Raiders. They'll call for Force Barrier again and press forward. Sounds so good. Ch charge the Misery Cage. Charge the... Ooh, if I've oh, only no. killed three of them? Yeah. Um, charge the Misery Cage. And then the rest will run. In retrospect, I think not running that arc node up a little bit further on turn, I believe that was turn one for me, and uh, getting a Venom out as well as the Crippling Grasp was probably a misplay. Mm. Yeah, probably. I caught like four of them. 
Yeah. On average, I hit two. But that's good yeah. Enough. It's two less. Actually, more than the, more than that, because after crippling grasp, you'd only need five since force barrier oh, yeah. applies to shooting. Uh, anyway, um, so it's six number three auto hits, uh, dice off seven, kills the cage. Ooh. Goodbye, cage. You can test massive it overkill. All right. Um, let's go with. I'm gonna go with stalker. Um, he's going to use his good arm on Canker Worm. I need a five. Do. Um, straight dice still. Uh, kills Canker Worm. Uh. And the bad arm can hit the Servitor on a five. Got him. Of course. Power 12, or power 14, one dice. Yep. He's dead. Him. And then he'll take Corrosion for ending his activation in the cloud. All right. Um, so the green cephalix unit will advance. All right, I'm going to start with uh, Cephalix number three, who's actually going to um, influence Marauder number four. Um, <laughs> after, because of Crippling Grasp, I need a five. It's, so Marauder number four is going to chuck a firebomb at Marauder number nine. Um, so your rat five, because I don't get better in leader when I have control of you. Nine. Uh, you're crippled, so versus 12, I need seven. Sevens. It's, so Marauder number nine, um, it's only power 10 because the strength debuff affects your ranged. Uh, power 10 versus your armor of 14. <laughs> uh, tough check on Marauder nine. Yep. Uh, nope. All right. Yeah, vengeance. We'll see. Um, Last. Cephalic's leader will influence uh, Cephalic's leader is just going to spray Marauder number four. That's the only one he'll get. Um, so not snakes. <clears throat> it's um, power 12 to your 14. Uh, tough check for Marauder four. It is not tough. All right. And then um, Cephalix number two is going to spray... Um, I'm thinking your... Seeing what I can get. Um, yeah, I'm going to spray your uh, small belcher number five, so that'll get all four. But also just target your small belcher number four and get all four either way. Yep. All right. I think number so, five also gets all four. Yeah, I think that's what it looked like. All right. So on the servitor, needs a five, kills the servitor. Yep. Their objective, not snakes. Hey. Snakes, so I miss your objective. <clears throat> Charybdis, I need a five. Miss Charybdis, four ones in a row. And on your small belcher, I hit. So small belcher, dice off three. Check on your small belcher, five. Oh, uh, he's dead. Okay. All right, so that's those cephalix. Um, Void Archon will just run. Stay in the forest for now and get within five of uh, Marauder number two at least. Save myself a tough check. Um, Thixius's unit will go. Uh, drop a couple of clouds. And then they're just going to advance. No, not you.
I appreciate the concern, but I think I'm she's pretty beyond reproach back there. Uh, well, you know, I've str scarier and stranger things have happened, so I just want to uh, want to hedge my bets. Fair enough. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it might have the consequence of leaving Asphyxius more vulnerable, but I think uh, I think he'll probably be okay. <laughs> I don't think as I well. can do too much to him. All right. All right, so the servitors will just walk. And Asphyxius just has to be within nine of them all. Yeah, that'll do. All right, All right, so, so servitor number fires. one attacks. Yep. Servitor number one on Marauder five. Uh, tough check. Oh, they don't. Uh, I thought they ignored tough. Not oh. that it mattered. Yeah, uh, Asphyxius gets the soul. Yep. Um, Scaver uh, number two attacks number three. Tough check. Please make a tough check. Asphyxius gets the soul. And then the third one, uh, number uh, three. Hits, just dies. He's dead. And then the Void Archon gets the soul for being closer. Okay. So the Cephalix will go. Leader is going to spray into your Marauder, le Marauder Leader and catch Jessica as well. Yep. So on the Marauder, he does threes. It's on Jessica. It's so yep. on the Marauder, you're a 14. So that uh, tough check on him. Why would I make a tough check? And uh, Void Archon gets the soul there. Jessica's a bit tougher. She's uh, So she's down to 15. Dice minus three on Jessica. Uh, and tough check for Jessica. Yep. There we go. Yeah, let me guess. Yep. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's... that's what? Uh, units 10 plus Jessica is 11. Uh, so yeah. seven models, no tough checks. Yeah, that's, that's rough. I'm... There is no debate about that. Um, so uh, Overlord number three going to uh, try to influence uh, Marauder number eight. Uh, I need a five because of Ashen Veil. It's, so Marauder number eight is going to throw a firebomb at the back of um, Marauder Seven. number six. Oh, six. Uh, no, no. Uh, eight is throwing into six. Yeah. So, um, Matt, five. Uh, in the back, your are uh, 12, so yeah, I need a 7. It's so oh, tough check on Marauder number 6, and we got some fire going hey, on. Hey, we did it right after we lost everything else. <laughs> and uh, Gerlach is on fire, as well as that troll. Yep. And then uh, Cephalix number 2 uh, is going to spray your Marauder number 7, catching number 8 as well. Mm-hmm. So... So uh, on the first one, number seven, misses. Oh, wait, no, that's a uh, hit because no, you're. Still hits. Yeah, because I ignore Ash and Veil with this. And on Marauder, eight hits. Uh, not snakes back. for number seven. One loses. Last one. Hey, finally making okay. the tough checks after we lost our new knockdown. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And the Void Archon collects the soul. All right. So. Uh, I'm getting the feeling um, I should not have played anyone. It's uh, yeah, I I'm not sure. I mean, I was expecting the scar drop, um, but uh, yeah. Now that I'm now that I'm looking at this, 
Um, Aurora is going to run to your flag, and then I score four points and win. Yep. I mean, your list just is basically tailor made to kill mine. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's interesting because you don't see these the, these type of lists at all, like in the U.S. Like the amount of weird mass infantry that I've seen out of the European players has been surprising. Like single wound infantry, besides like flames and angels, is basically gone. Uh, it is interesting, but the thing is, the Cephalix do, I find the Cephalix do just as well against multi-wound infantry as well. You know, add a debuff and the sprays are basically power 14. And uh, against the really hard multi-wound infantry, they tend to hit hard too, which makes influence better. Yeah, looking at it, like, I should have noticed the both, the yeah, two overlords. I noticed the Void Archon most, um, but I mean, basically just the overlords alone can wreck most of the things on my list. Uh, probably should have picked Scar, because um, I played this, the Denny 1 Scar 1 matchup earlier, and I uh, felt pretty good about that one. Mm. I mean, I think Scar would have a little bit of a harder time on this one, because you have, like, Aspie and carry enthralls to contest to threaten scenario with and you know, scar is a melee army and uh denegra tends to uh punish melee armies and i've got enough i've got enough magical weapons where i'm not really scared of your wraith engines yeah uh but for most of my list um i can have bloodthirst basically across the entire thing uh so i out threat most of the models in your list by quite a bit mm -hmm. yeah that's true yeah, me melee you definitely uh, you definitely do. So you know I've just got to uh, and like I mean the, 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 and stuff aren't really afraid of overlords. It's pal yeah. twelve against armor twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean I and guess uh, had Orin also, so I could vortex a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Or yeah, Orin is quite good against Denny. That is no denying that. Yeah, so I think yeah, I that... messed up at list selection. I mean, your dice rolls didn't do you any favors. I got to go first, which was another advantage for uh Yeah, me. especially in a mirror match against Denny. Yeah. Losing the roll to go first is not great. If she gets to run, she like instantly projects all of her threat. Yeah, if your and... army can just move full tilt at me, like that's that's one of the things I don't not a huge fan of. They were like, Yeah, let's take all the the AD fast stuff out of the game. You know, it's like too fast. We're going to take it away from Rhett. Oh, but you know what? Now that we've made newer stuff, you can have it back. Marley, uh, yeah, back to uh, Rhett. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what they did to Rhett, that was unfortunate. I know that they're like the next. Aren't they next in line for CID? It was, wasn't that uh, Trolls are. They're in oh, right. a week. Yeah. That's soon, huh? Wow. I haven't been keeping track. Uh, they said it will either be uh, the week of the 9th or the week of the 15th. They said they're not sure. Okay. Uh, um, all right. So as far as, uh, you know, the accounting portion of this. Um, I think I they killed an arc node and Axiara I... and the... Killed an arc node. I killed Axiara. I killed your blood priestess, and I killed your canker worm. Oh yeah, and canker worm. <laughs> I don't think you scored any army points at all from me. Nope. Well, uh, I'm. You know, I'd like to play a rematch sometime in the future. Obviously, this it was. Uh... Won't be with Cricks. <laughs> no, that's just... fa that's fair. I was just trying out Cricks because I'd never played them before. Uh, you know, playing a faction I never played before and getting three wins. Yeah, I can, no, I can you, accept that. Yeah, and you know, I've I've been playing Cricks since Mark One, and you know, I haven't really, really? dabbled too much. Yeah, I haven't really dabbled too much in other factions. So, um, I mean, I own I own Infernals. Maybe someday I'll get Morty Two on the board. Um, and I've like. Briefly had flings with Convergence, Scorn, and uh, I mostly play Crucible Cephalix, Guard, but um, 
if I was just trying around other factions since War Table's out, because Crucible Guard is kind of not great at the moment. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Crucible Guard are in kind of a weird place just because of how how many shooting defenses there are, and Crucible Guard can't yeah, really. Like Crucible Guard is lowish rat comparatively to modern stuff guns, <laughs> and modern things that are played are pretty much tech four. The better guns that have come out recently. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just try I just try to avoid at least with this list, I just try to avoid having the guns at all. I, I have the range attacks that aren't technically guns. I mean, that comes with its own challenges, you know, things like you know, things like Chromac One are kind of a nightmare for this list, but overall. Oh, yeah. Uh but uh so uh d- let's see, do we have to I'm sorry, right, America. So I, can, uh, I brought shame. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm the, I'm the uh, America. I'm one of the American ringers for England Lions. So, go Ameriland. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cause I was looking at them. Um, I thought I was gonna get uh, wild at first because uh, they there was a mix up in reporting. So my strength of schedule was different oh okay because one of the people that lost that i faced earlier got reported as a win <laughs> and i was looking at his list and i was like hell yeah like all the way we're just gonna play scar and like we're gonna like do some good stuff and then they got rearranged and i got into a crix match i was like oh no <laughs> uh, i was like i don't want right. to play against someone that's playing a faction this faction because the odds are they've been playing more than me <laughs> um and i i have been playing cricks quite a lot um yeah i don't know after the vtc if i'll just switch up my cricks lists or take a break and practice with infernals for a while i'm not sure infernals are ugh, they're real good they are real good but they do have a high, they do have a fairly high skill floor the you know in the few games i played before you know we were got stuck in our houses um all of our you know Order of activation is very important, even with um, the tactician. So, you know, yeah, I feel like they have their weaknesses. And like a free teleport, well, it costs a soul, but like you get that every turn is pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's, I feel like Valen Hawk would be fair if he didn't also have the no knockdown aura. And, that's and that's what I think pushes. Isn't brother, or Brother's Keeper in a stationary also? Yeah, and no stationary. You're right. It's even better than I remembered. Yeah, yeah. so like <laughs> having brothers having uh, brothers keeper um, no, just yeah, it's like, uh, I mean are, are we still streaming? We have uh, you know an hour, an hour of chatting <laughs> chatting about random models at this point. <laughs> All right, That's I'm just reporting question. the game. So I got five CPs. Yeah, so I think I, I how severely. Many, how many points misjudged. did I? How many army points did that uh, add up to? XR is six. Um, uh, the... Ten. Uh, you killed both misery cages. So that's 14. 20 for Axiara. Um, 29 for Canker Worm. And that, yeah, 29. Yep. Yeah, I know it wasn't a lot. And you are goose egg. Sorry, the uh, game was closer. Than, the game was close. The game was closer than your uh, score indicates. You got a couple of things. Just uh, bad luck on. Yeah, I had a couple of not great rolls. Um, again, I think I could have largely avoided this if I had just uh, picked scar one. Hmm. Playing a uh, bunch uh, of wood have... infantry slash low armor multi wound infantry into overlords and avoid archon is just I'm not sure yeah. why I made that call. <laughs> I mean, I'm still I mean Scar One is the drop that I was expecting and I was pretty confident into that as well, but for different reasons, because you know, you're right that you do definitely have advantages there. It's just with Scar One being more but melee focused and Denegra you know, pretty famously punishing melee armies, which is oh yeah, 
she's so uh, relevant right now at Dark my Seduction. Thought, looking back on it, is that I could basically pick a side, and that is my side. Mm. Uh, and I think Scar's list would be a little bit better at murdering things that come over. I don't know, though, because Gatsby makes it weird. Yeah. But again, and, uh, I also have Gatsby, but I don't know. I mean, you know, there's, it's, you know, we both have our respective cloud covers, but, you know, that's where your huge bases stop doing you favors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I thank you very much again for the game, and uh, I hope you have a nice rest of your day. I hope you enjoy yours as well. Thank you.